Hello and welcome back everyone. Just doing a uh, little bit more Valkyrie progression over here in Valencia. Be a little bit more of a chill stream today. As you can see, we've got the whole guild to ourselves at the moment. A little bit of a dead morning. But, uh, while we're auto-pathing over here to the... I think it was the sulfur mines. The Roud or Rood sulfur mine. Yep. Let me just uh, check stream quality here. Pardon me a moment. Seems like the uh, voice audio is a bit on the low end. You may hear the stream here on the side for just a moment. Testing, testing. Let's see uh, how this does for a moment. Yeah, it seems a little better. Yep, sounds pretty good to me. Centered the party audio bit and uh, slightly adjusted the microphone. Let's see how it uh, turns out on stream. Uh, I think our settings should be good to go. Everything seems to be in order. Looks like we have our first prey, and they don't hit very hard at all. Except that one guy. Oh, they don't seem to hit them very hard. I don't know which one of you is stunning me constantly, but that is slightly annoying. Oh! 
Should be fairly easy to kill them once we get some information. Oh, one of those things is in there. You! Okay, it wasn't it. It was this big guy right here. So watch out for the ham-fisted ones. Let me guess, you can stun too. Yep. And even my protected skills are getting really stunned by this. <laughs> That's right, sit the F down. Holy crap. How did my guild mate at only like 140 something HP come through here and do this? You know what? We didn't unequip something, did we? No. And now they're responding. <laughs> this may be something we have to come back for later.
Insanity. Pure insanity. Wait, was that in the lead? Oh, we just had a Yobi log in. Welcome back, welcome back. They withstood even that? That is freaking ridiculous! Holy crap! Oh yeah, I forgot I activated the fairy. I'm not supposed to kill it. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're done here. I just, I just happened to look at the quest screen. Take it or leave it was what we were here for. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright. Hopefully, that was all we needed. Uh, I am going to go ahead and disable that fairy, though. I just kind of forgot how it looked when I was playing around with it. That would be general setting, wouldn't it? Show hide? Yep. Wait. Not that one. Hmm. I don't remember where that was. Display? No, it wouldn't have been in performance. It would have been in general. It's not this one. That's the actual fairy fairy. Oh! There it is. Much better. been so long since I've had a stream by myself. It's hard keeping y'all entertained. You greedy, greedy YouTubers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I mean, it is just a progression and chill. It's not like I have anyone in chat asking me questions and... Eventually someone may join the party. Also, let's check out uh, who that was that got online a moment ago. That was not the correct button. Nor was that. There we go.
Konosuba, a most excellent choice of name. Most excellent indeed. Once again, welcome back. How's our pets doing? Not great. We'll pick up some uh, delicious, cheap grub for them shortly. Hey! Q's back on. Give him a few moments to actually log in, then we'll send that. I do believe that this is hard to do while streaming on a console and only having my phone on the side here I don't actually have a computer to mess around with so I don't believe I can actually put an overlay over chat which would be the polite thing to do for all of them but uh... there we go Perhaps we should uh, take a pause briefly in our story progression and work a little bit on Money Prog. Might be the wise thing to do. Also, let me turn down the fan over here. Don't want y'all getting too much of that wind right up in the mic. I think I pushed the wrong button. Pardon a moment. Okay. Did Afuaru send you? Head straight to business. Or I'll... I don't even know if I have to actually do this, guys. Grave robbers are not trustworthy. No, I can't just skip the quest. It don't work like that. Isn't there anything good up there? Yeah, I think I actually have to do his quest to progress. Afuaru traded information with a scoundrel, but he hadn't received the detailed information yet, even after paying money. Find Zovadi the scoundrel and squeeze some info out of him by all means. Yeah. By all means. As in, do his quest chain. Got ya. Well, 
I'm not. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Don't trust Afuaru, for God's sake. No. Can't even talk to him. Me. Oh, what did you got? Wrong dude. Oh, no. Fogan allergy. Nah. Wait, what is it? A word. Ten G. Desert Falcons are easy enough to kill. Uh, oops. Oh right, Titium Valley is or Titium Valley has not quite been connected. As in, it's in the desert. Yay! The desert that removes you from the screen. <laughs> Hello, me. That was wrong anyway. All of that just to get to here. Indeed. Let's check our other rewards here. Uh, skill. SP 90%, SP 90%. Yep. One we won't. Okay, let me actually select it. What's this? Hmm. Use this key to open the Shining Handicraft. Find fancy treasure boxes spread all over the world. Sure. Combat skill life XP plus 100% for 24 hours. Uh, yeah? Do I get to, do I have to choose one? Naughty Lion Cub. Skill XP gain. Can't, uh, can't argue with that. And I, oh! That's beautiful. Can I have all of them? I do get to have all of them. Yay! What's this? I'll take that too. I recently redid my, uh, all of these, as you can see. So I, uh, am kind of hitting unnecessary buttons for now. That will get removed at some point. I would have very much liked to make it to these before the update rolls over, but I have no idea. Wait, 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 wait. I, I do, I do have an idea. It says right at the bottom. Event period from February 11th until March 10th. Oh, okay. We will make all of these then. Perfect. <sighs> Alright, let's go knock some Desert Fogans and, uh. Hopefully. And the world's just so beautiful. doing what are both of the quests Fogan allergy and what's the one he gave us since you're pretty maybe I should yeah
Oh, he wants us to go to Desert Fogan too, huh? Alright. I guess it's a good thing I grabbed his minions quest. Oh, that's Pilaku. We could take a quick peek through there. Go a little southeast. And wait. Nah. Nah. Plus it's 210, and I believe that's what up here was. Yeah. Alright, so some classes are able to hit above their belt. Unfortunately, ours does not currently seem able to do so. But, uh, let's see, we're gonna run pretty much... Let me adjust the camera here. Where's Hido? Slightly off-center of Elia. Yep. Okay, so from Valencia, straight south will get us there. In fact, we're almost dead end right into it. Perfect. Let's get us a cheap way out of here. Auto path, go! Oh, wait. I can respond to chat by looking at my phone like this. Hell yeah, okay. Uh, pardon the broadcast interruption. We about to change some stuff. Oh, hello, phone call.
Apologies, everybody. Currently on a phone call. Let's just throw Mr. Dragon onto a uh, speakerphone here and can reap the benefits. What, uh, what, what AP range is it? Oh, this is death. I guess we also get to hear him order lunch. <laughs> I'm investigating the history of ruins. Have you heard anything at all? Welcome, yes, welcome, dear. Rev. Ancient relics yep. and weapons come to life there. There is no entrance. Here. I'm probably just gonna do more questing today. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually shocked by what Rev, the question Rev, is actually Rev, giving me. Rev, chill. What? N Dragon's on the phone. You should be able to hear him just fine. So, Braggy Den is one of the areas that will be influenced by the Alifa, uh, outbreak or whatever, the power of the Alifa realm. Yeah. All right. Another one is the imp altar. Everywhere that gets affected by the Olivia. Oh, dude, that means the Calfian shrine. Then, where I was telling you we could make like three hundred mil an hour. That'll be added. Hell yes. Isn't there always? Every, every class will have a specific set of skills that they can use while within these areas. But they can only be used when you're wielding the weapons from these areas. Interesting. Okay. But otherwise, outside of those zones, they're they basically crap. But that, I mean, this this stupid thing is like miles long. The shit they had, like the Orc camp, bloody monastery. I mean, they. they All right, here we go. Both y'all wish me luck. Uh, what's happening? No, I failed yesterday, so you're going to fail. 
Uh, your enhancement chance is very high for attempting to enhance an item with such a low enhancement level. Are you sure you want to continue? Mm, it can kiss my ass. What are you going from? Wait. What if I do 51? What are you doing? I'm enhancing a, uh... One of the... A duo to a try. It's the red sand crystal ring that you get from questing. They can be enhanced up to try. Thing is, I'm w I'm wearing a pair of uh, duo Cagtum submission rings, which are nine AP. So is the duo red sand crystal ring. So I may. Yeah. No. You know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and actually do this. Yeah. Let's do this! Yep, it is a superior item. But by what? I get one AP. <laughs> that really Woohoo! Eh, I have another one. The Cactum. Well, I can replace my Asula duo that gives me 3 dp 7 ap and i'll get uh 10 ap as an exchange oh and more accuracy don't go and switch that one out that's not the one i wanted there we go we're gonna do that again i can always uh fill stack and get more more of those plus 50s what am I doing? There we go. Wait. What? What? You can enhance the Sulas now? What is this? I mean, their AP never goes up, so why would I do that? But still. Oh, what? That hurt. All right, let's do a plus 30. Yep. Uh, let's leave the animation on. I'm going to see the percentage of my iPad real quick. Do another one of these. Yep, yep. And ninety percent. That is good. Ouch. That hurts. Well. Okay. I will pull up my boss timer and I will Let's go ahead how much and put time the next boss is because in this order. I would like to know. Wait, what? Why is it saying Asula is better than... Oh. Because it has DP. I'll have to throw that into storage. Oh, uh, Dragon. And Rev. Yeah? Hang on. Dragon? James? Dragoon? Hamez. We uh we lost him. Uh F. or he hit mute by accident, don't realize it. Even on his phone. Uh Karanda and Kudum happens at eight o'clock my time. Uh that's a long ways away. Also Yeah, uh, it's a long ways away. I'm just saying that hey, keep a mental note if you can. I'll warn you later than that, of course. When there's maybe like two hours left or some shit. Uh, surprisingly, in EU, they're fighting Vale. We don't have Vale on console. 
Aww. But I wanted it. Too bad. It looked so cool, though. It is cool. Okay. This is not right. This Welcome is not cool. Welcome back. What happened to you? Ah, good job. Oh, there we go. I'll talk to you later. oh, all right. We'll talk to you later, man. Oh wait, before you go, I found the history of ruins in uh, Valencia. I think you already left. Yep. Well, there's that. And then Any there were questions on Valencia. No, or none at all. I already knew all the the crap about this. Oh, hey, he left some voice messages. Oh. I could tell you about the nodes if you want. I bought a 90-day value pack. But I was talking about the Nova Puffs. Really? Elvia weapons? I'm sorry, what? I know about the Black Star stuff. Oh, the burning stuff. Oh, we, we already have the ability to do that. We already have Garamoth. I picked a rose and I got a female Kermes. But Elvia Awakening and Elvia Main Weapon Types, though. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Give me a damn rose already, game. Jeez. Third time's the charm. There we go. Got four of that pull. Oh, oh yeah, I'm uh, streaming by the way, ref. Wait, what? Yeah, I've been streaming since before you joined, before Dragon was even on a phone call. Oh. <sighs> there you uh, go. thank you for telling me before I said something I really shouldn't have. Mhm. Mm I so, am not a morning person. The uh, the real question is how do we get out of here? And I think I found it. Always yeah, how do life. we escape this game? Oh, escape Black Desert? No. No, no. No, 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 no. We, we, we don't want that. That's not what we want. What we do want is to, uh, get out of this hole. Oh, the, the hole that is the money problem of our guild? Yeah. Hmm. Our guild don't have a money problem. Fair enough, but it could always use more. It could. We have enough I'm people online. I'm trying to help with that ever so slightly whenever I find a moment where I can kind of stop questioning. By the way, what's my energy? 129. You know? That sounds good enough for me to actually do a guild quest. Alright, well, Let's I'm not see if there's people pit. on. I'm gonna have to rename this stream, uh. Welcome to, uh. Welcome to Lost in a Cave. This looks promising. Or you can make it as a plug-in for our guild. No, I, I tend to usually find what I'm looking for fairly easily. Uh, there's only like two life quests. Hey, what do you know? I found my way out. <laughs> That didn't take long at all. What is it? Pilgrim, that's not where we are. Are we here? The real shame you got out of that cave. Imagine the amount of rubies you would have gotten. I feel myself being attacked. Yeah, I get attacked often too. But what do I do about it? I let it happen because I like it. They have paid for it with their lives. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you fight hard, I fart harder. But not the type of fighting you'd expect, no. I'm not Bruce Lee. Okay. Based on what I'm seeing here, I'm going to assume we're here. Oh, actually, wait a minute. That, that right there might even make more sense. 
Do you uh do you know where the the node manager for Pilaku Jail is? I do not have that place discovered, nor would I feel inclined to discover it anytime soon by abnormal means. Uh, so no, I can't help you with Pilaku, but uh, anywhere around Valencia and Arahesa Town, uh, basically Valencia down into the west. And Arahesa Town up towards the Sulphur Mines, I can help you with. It's just that one corner of Pilaku that I can't. Okay, basically. Like, I can tell you I'm anything about Tidium Valley. I'm over... trying to uncover most of the fog of war from it. And if you want some of the most uh, profitable nodes, it does require some of the most stamina as well as some of the most uh, connection and chains. But Crescent Shrine is arguably one of the most profitable nodes in the game. For what? It is for... Um, I'm a bit foggy. Gathering and mining. It's got a nice uh, three for a noted investment in gathering, three for a noted investment in mining. But over near it, they have the Crescent Mountains, which has two slots for three investment in mining. And, you know, the high area you have to invest, of course, the better it's got to be. It's kind of how that'll have to work. Otherwise, that just wouldn't make much sense. Uh, if you actually connect that to the Valencia Western Highlands and then over to Bazaar Farmland, or you can connect that to Sand Grain, you can farm at the Bazaar Farmland, Nutmeg, Tef, and if you have a Tier 1 household specialties for a Monopoly. Rev. Yes? All I asked was for what? Pilaku. Uh, can you send me a picture of your map? Uh, near what location? Uh, Pilaku. Uh, Zoom I don't really have that place too. discovered, but I have the places around it, I suppose. Yeah. That, that's why I said uh, around there. Center okay, on Okay, this is the best I can out. do. Uh, as long as you can see Valencia and Arahesa town towards the top, that, that just head down from there. Uh, I, I, I know where I am in the desert. Right. I still have a discover, but I'm in other places where the nodes are profitable for what I checked on the wikis you can't profit jack from there it's a jail it's not meant to be a profit powerhouse not my favorite for contraction disgusting creatures yeah those disgusting freaks that go into negative karma for fun I was talking about the giant scorpions, but I mean, yeah, oh. them too. Uh, like, yeah, 1v1 PvP is nice and all, but make sure you have their consent. Or even better, you don't have to have their consent if it's in a guild war. Uh, welcome back again. New information. Uh-huh. Yeah, you said new information, and then you said new class. Yes. BDO, new class. Yes. And my lack of surprise should tell you that I'm not surprised. <laughs> the picture well, sent us. Good. Cool. Just in time for the update. Really? So FF14 and BDO are having a Sage release around the same time? Sage will get dissed all up and down the universe. Thank you very much.
What did the sage ever do to you other than help? It existed. Follow your nose. Um. Well, I imagine it's not actually going to be a healer. I guess I, I didn't think about, about that. Give give alternative support classes. Because, I mean... Because his, because his upright barrel shy is the only support class. That's not entirely true. Before shy existed, witch and wizard were used as support. Yeah, but... Shy is the only one with buffs. Yeah. They could have given Shy their combat update specifically to counter the new class. If if we go along that line of thinking. I, on the other hand, think we're going to get a type of pet class. Rather than rework Action. Tamer, they just added a new class. Well, don't think about it from other games' perspectives. Think about it from Black Desert. Sages are, you know, extremely wise and knowledgeable people, especially, you know, regarding the Black Spirit. There's no reason that a Black Desert sage wouldn't be a summoner. Able to control the Black Spirits to such a degree that, uh, why is there a yellow dot here? What are you? No, it's a red dot. I have an idea about Sage Oscar. Yeah. Uh, red. Uh, there would just be another mage. But Black well, Desert hasn't. Yeah, and, well, I mean, if if you follow the classes that are like that, give, give us just a second, Rev, I'll, I'll relay your idea in a moment, uh, is you have the three elven classes. Hang on, hang on, hang on, let me, let me fix this malfunction here. Works for me. This way I can keep an eye on stream, too. What do you mean, zero watching? I'm watching myself. Oh, wait. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Indeed. We won't let my voice crack today. So, what I was saying is your, your theory with the nature thing, it's not out of bounds, but... I mean, we do already have the three elven classes and Shy doing that. So that's what I'm saying. It's not out of bounds. It's totally doable because we already have four classes based around nature. But, or well... <laughs> yeah, the, the way I look at it is I, I, see, I see something like that plus control over black spirits so or, or the dark energy so i think summoner look at what's blossomed on the rock we're going to research this land so that we can discover something special I found Central Cantusa, 
which means our Hazel Town's right here. Oh wait, what's this? Yeah. But in the same sense, there's been plenty of Korean games before where the summoner was called Sage. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not denying your claims. I'm just, I'm adding the alternatives here, and then Rev. Yeah. Hmm. Rev, what was your idea for Sage? Well, I was thinking that instead of it being just a pure summoner class, I think that it would be a bit of a support class with also relying on DPS. Uh, I, I feel like that it definitely wouldn't be much of a tanky class, obviously, but I think it would be more of a gimmick class. In other words, kind of like how Shies are good at life skilling in terms of gathering an alchemy, I'm thinking due to the wiseness of the Sage that it could have buffs based around gaining knowledge around the area. I also think that maybe some of the abilities might even be enhanced based on the amount of knowledge one would have around the world. Although it would only be by a slight percent, but that could be nice. I l yeah, I mean, the game has been trying that ever since. I, 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 I think that that could be a good thing to try out. Yeah, you know, but then you'll the have more you like actually Night play the game, or... even do the side quest, talk to people... Uh, it, although it's only slightly, it might get a bit more powerful with some of its abilities. Uh, as well as maybe even enhance some life skills along the way uh, when doing certain quest lines. I've been wondering what to do with my with my next character slot where I'm like, well, there's not really anything I haven't made that I don't want to play. <laughs> but this will work. I'm honestly curious to see how it would even turn out. I mean, that's more or less keeping on par, though. They they release characters. I, I don't think we've had a release year since the first year where we didn't have a new class at it, right? PC, yeah. On console, it didn't come until just what? Beginning of the year? December? I think it actually came to console in November. Because it was saying there were stuff on console for Nova three months before we came back, and that was February. Beginning of February, so it, it had to have been. I do really, really like the icons that they have added, though, to let you know when you're using super armor, guarded, 
or invincibilities. Yeah. Yeah, I went in. She didn't seem more powerful when I logged in this morning. But, I mean, then again, she, my Nova's only 56, so... Uh, the loyalty shop has completely, wait a minute, what the fuck? No, dude, we got an update, we freaking got an update, it, it is, it is more expensive, but there's so, so much more in it. Also, they didn't double the price of everything. The Acker Guard stuff is still 10k. The Blazing Bundle is still sold out. It probably. What's Nedir's Parchment? We had that already. It's uh, 10,000, whatever it is. Um, same as the Acker Guard. Wait, hold on. Well, let me let me click it again. I didn't actually read it. Oscar. What? Also, I noticed something new from the updates. Turns out that uh, I'm just playing as my mon right now. Uh, just by like walking backwards and like doing my side dashes while attacking, oh. I've noticed these symbols pop up on my screen that weren't there before. Like, if I were to walk backwards, I see this shield icon pop up. Yes, that's what we Now we're when I dash left about. to right, I have, like, these uh, icons that pop up of, like, a buff guy. and We, we, we got it. So. Rev, Rev, you don't have to keep going. We, we just said that's what we were talking about. Those are the new icons. The other one is invincibility. Huh. Yeah, let me real quick get these uh, quests from the refugee camp, so that way I can do those with these uh, other quests. Yeah. We, we've got the Kaposha accessories. Uh, no, Ka Kafra stones won't be added until we actually get that area. And they, they just drop from the mobs. You just go and kill the mobs and they drop the stones. Well, yeah. But... Negative. Just for the sheer number of them you need. Well, right. Man, I, before I switch back to Nova, though, I'm taking my vault to 60. Oh, I'm going to keep gearing her up, and uh, get that family inventory quest done. Uh, Oscar? What? I got an event thing. It says, a key for a fancy treasure box. Yeah, I got all that when I logged in, too. Read it. And, and the description in the actual challenge menu as well. 
basically there's random tr chests around the world that you can open with those that give you stuff. I don't know where uh -huh. any of them are. Man, we got Secret Book of Old Moon in here for 2000. We got uh, Blessing of Kamalsilv. Yeah, but there, it's only a one-day value pack for 2,800 loyalty. Artisan's Memories are 800 loyalty, and this one might interest you. It, I know it'll interest Knight. For 10,000 loyalty, which will take you a long time to get, uh, you get a character slot expansion. Uh, one per family, yeah. Resets on the first of every month, though. I've already been all the way through my settings today. What are you looking for? Oh, okay. Uh, Black Spirit, Adventure Log Bookshelf, World Map, Item Drop, Quest, and Dark Rift. It's the same stuff we've had. Didn't add what? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that we won't get that. The Black Spirit Adventure. Hmm. So what that Nadir's ban does, basically, is essentially give you two enhancement chance slots. I don't know how I feel about it being 10,000 loyalty. That seems... A... Is this how much stuff on the PC costs? Jesus. Uh, also, I didn't see Elian's Tears in Loyalties anymore. I think I just looked over it. Or I it's... think I did. They also have Energy Tonics. Unless they change the icon for it. Yeah, I see those. 200 for a small. Let me scroll. Oh, no, here it is. Elian's Tier, 200. But again, they were 200 energy... Or 200 loyalty when it first came out on console but at the on the same token we were also getting 200 loyalties a day so you know this whole well that sucks also i found the southern ocean nice Well, uh, I guess southeastern ocean. F it, eastern ocean. Yeah, eastern ocean. Wow, the map does not even let you go over here. I straight up can't turn that way. I can't. Look at the curve in the world. The world is not flat. No. <laughs> no. Every Karen screech. Uh, no, excuse you. Don't bring Vic. Alrighty, man. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, that's a bit. You'll get home. And then you'll get on. And then you'll have to get right back off. And then you'll get on uh. again. <laughs> I think I found a good way to make money. This is the most stupid thing I've ever said. But milk. 9,400 per milk on the player market. Okay, average price right now. And, yeah, you can mainly only get them from questing, but in the Fallas Farm near Calpheon, they have this milking minigame that'll give you free milk as long as you milk the cow. What the hell? 
Hey, I from shore I actually see. Uh, uh, hey, hang on one sec, Jim. I I actually see uh, one of those fishing nodes. What do you call them? The the with the 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 seagulls over them. Yeah, the hot spot. I see one over here near Arahaza Town. Just off the coast from of the desert. Hmm. Yeah, I saw that on that video. I saw that the Kazarka weapons will go way down in price, and I'm like, yeah. Money. I was, you're cutting out real bad. Uh, but the, the graph that you're talking about, we don't have yet. So it looks like only part of that update went live last night. <clears throat> so Nova's buff... The Central Market stuff and Black Star Arena are not in yet. At least as far as I can tell. Are these things hostile? No. I gotta say, this church quest line in Calpheon, uh, in like the northern wheat plantation and stuff, like just talking to that one dude, it's a giant quest chain where I've just gotta do the church's dirty work. I've gotta kill contaminated people now. This is what your god did to you. Good. Is this an outhouse? This is totally an outhouse. <laughs> BTO finally reveals where people use go to the bathroom. They they travel from all around the world to Arahaza Town to lay a deuce. I'm gonna see if I can get this to person to join my guild. She's a Nova with pink hair. Us pink hairs gotta stink, uh, stick together. No, no, no. You, you had it right the first time. You stink together. My name is Dudora. Welcome to Arahaza. Well, that too. Well, hopefully she understands that I sent her a guild invite, and hopefully, uh, she will accept. Have you read Palm Forest Boy? It's really I don't know. If I run into people like that while I'm questing, I make sure I hit them up. Sir. Oh, and turns out that I did find a way Arahaza. to actually uh, invite people, like how you can do in the PC without actually friending them first. You gotta sheath your weapon. You've got to walk up to them, and then you hold L2. And then you hold triangle. You don't even have to friend them. Just straight up guild invite them. Oh. Good. I'm learning efficiency. Something I never had before. Did you just figure that out now? Uh, no, I figured it out like a day or two ago, but uh, I've never really got around to using it. Uh, never really got around to using it until now. Just wanted to tell you in case, you know, you wanted to know. Thought it'd be neat. In case you ever saw anybody that was running too fast, you could just quickly do that and be like, Ha, huh, you thought you could well, run you from me? You take leave. my coat and I'll shut up and take my will let you relax. I haven't actually discovered it yet. But I just spoke to Arahaza. Oh, you're there. While you're there, there's this quest. I think it's called, like, the Palm yeah, Forest not, Boy or something. I'm not doing uh, that. If you do that, it requires you to gain amity with the chief, but the rewards are nice. I thought I spoke to Arahaza. That was her, wasn't it? Hmm. There we go. Now I discovered it. I'm not a kind person, but that doesn't mean I'm a cold one. 
although the port's not as good as Portoferia in Arahesa Town, they can build a two-star uh, port, and you can make Arahesa ships. They look kind of cool. That's okay. Ooh, my max energy increased. Mine just did a moment ago as well. A blacksmith needs to be philosophical. Well, that's my philosophy. If you want to help with my work, you need to be at least an artisan in processing. Best part, I get to kill actual people. Damn. I was kind of hoping the update would lower the price of Cronstones, but supposedly... I guess the update's not active yet. So when when the current update we're in ends on March tenth, I, I think it is. Every day, here. like every uh, ten minutes, you're logged you in. You'll get cromstones, and on the weekends, you'll get a lot more cromstones. Yeah, but then the cromstone prices are gonna go way down because everybody would have cromstones. No, you can't sell cromstones on the market. You can sell them to NPCs. Yeah, that price for about two hundred thousand a pop at that. That's an yeah, easy way to make rich. No, no, because for one, the only way to actually get them in the game is to buy them from a blacksmith for two million for a single cromstone. I was thinking boss fights, like rift bosses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me rephrase that. The only way to get them quickly. Is to straight up yeah. spend two million a pop. Events are also nice for that. But does you keep on getting one hundred twenty cron stones for the polls? Oh, dude, don't even remind me four freaking times. You couldn't have given me the bigger cron stone at any one of those points. Freaking a holes. Cron castle admires all. You know what? Pearl box. Black spirits pick scary. Wait, silver oh, no, he's going for it. Uh, this is for the stream. Oh god, everything in the loyalty stuff is gonna. Yeah, let's just go to event. Let's go all the way to the bottom. If anyone's watching the stream, make sure you like the video. This is a like the video checkpoint. You get a 37-day uh, value pack for 350 pearls. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Hold up. What oh, comes boy. Now I get to kill dogs at my leisure. Hello. 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 And this one? In the meantime. Hello. When do these end? March 10th. Uh... Uh, how long? 15 days? 30 days? No, oh, 15, 15, storage made. Mm -hmm. Um, it looks like the winter boxes are gone, though. Orb. I'm getting a lot of ancient bronze coins here. Oh, the fairy skill change thing. On sale. Sh oh, okay. There's a lot of outfits on sale. What do you mean the Acker stuff is on sale?
Does that mean they'll go up to 20,000? Let's just get rid of that ridiculous ass helmet. There we go. Also, lower your hair. Or raise. Hmm. 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 Actually, what I'm going to do, a uh, northern wheat plantation actually has a lot of crops nearby. So I think I'm going to, while I have a lot of energy on me, I'm going to go ahead and dump some energy in that. So that way I can level that place up once. A bit of enemies okay. there too, like moles and stuff. There we go. Should be leveled up now. A little bit more yields next time I get there. Killed the dogs. Head back to the priest. Okay, that hasn't changed. Man, this Wait, is like taking is. the church root and fire emblem all over again. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, where is it? Activate that. Barley flower. What's this? Look for a mother at the hill of the refugee camp. That sounds simple enough. Item reform? No. Transfusion? No. Yeah, it must be enhancement. But why can't I take anything out of it? I, I, I want to... I want to extract these for Chromstones. Is this not something I can do? Let us ask Google. BDO extract cron stones from outfits. How to get corn stones? <laughs> oh yeah, corn. Wow, the intro on this video. I need a blacksmith, you say? 
Wouldn't it be the role and capacity of an artisan to develop something greater? Can you not do it with limited ones? Like I clearly saw. Years my philosophy has been Maybe I have to equip like those them first. My weapons and armors. Those are all equipped. Where's the town storage? I'm not a kind person, but that doesn't mean I'm a cold one. Oh, for... <sighs> Blacksmith needs to be philosophical. Well, that's my philosophy. Oof. Woof. My no. philosophy. Don't extract any weapons that. are weapons and armor is armor. Hmm. If you want to help with my work, you need to be at least an artisan in processing. I can only extract Okay. Wouldn't it what be the role I and capacity of an sell. artisan to develop something greater? No. Hmm. Okay, Hello. so now I need sugar and salt. So I can make cream and butter. I can make cheese by drying milk. So we use this, we use this. We'll head here this. first and then we'll head up to the material vendor to gather uh, the siphon things for blood collection. Get those boars. Oh, yeah, no helmet. Excellent. I like the, the story. <laughs> Although you can get a ton of crown stones by extracting premium outfits. Interesting. I may have to log into my other characters and uh, extract outfits that I don't want or don't use. If Valkyrie ever gets Enslar, I'll just extract that. <laughs> Solaria helmet. I will never use that. I'll extract that. Bits of armor I won't ever freaking use. I tr tra years my philosophy has Is that bound to me? Like those of my weapons and armor. I don't think I've ever equipped it. It is. Sadly. A blacksmith needs to be philosophical. Well, that's my philosophy. Ah. Uh, honestly, these white bunny ears suck. I'll get rid of those two. Alright, 42 from that. A lot more from that. <laughs> I want to get rid of those. Yeah, sure. 
28 of those or 84 of those. Well, that's a no-brainer. And I've never seen this animation before, so here we go, stream. Sweet. Wow, by doing these quests, I'm 20% of the way to level 50, uh, 60. Are you? No, I found the Cheyenne Calfion. Stream seems way behind. Oh, no, because I'm still on this menu. Sample fruit. Okay, sure. My philosophy is material scattering. Sure. <clears throat> actually reminds me. Did I ever try on? I did. Okay. Huh. I just gave uh, R, the seed vendor in Kelfi, on 100 weeds, and she gave me gathering XP in return. Interesting trade off. Oh, I missed an NPC. Oh no, because I already know you. Here, let's update your position. People are full of life when they get to this town. You look like you are as well. <sighs> Excuse me. Could you buy a camel here in the desert? Stables? No. You can buy a horse. That don't do me any good. It's kind of why the uh, side quest existed. Buy a sugar. Buy a salt. Where is Shake that quest the milk anyway? And watch the result. It was at the Sangrain Bazaar, right? Rev. What? Uh, what? The camel quest was at the Sangrain Bazaar, right? Yeah, just talk to the stable man. I think adventurers are splendid. No, actually, describing them is Basically, he'll just tell you to talk to a few people, tell them about the pros and cons of the camel, yada, yada, yada. Once you get all that information, return back to him, and he'll trust you with the camel. It's a green camel, but it's a decent camel to start with. Better than foot. wonder what these And I found out that like. they eat the dried briars that the dude sells. Hmm. Interesting. Time to mix milk and sugar or cream. Toys. Sugar or sweets or whatever and everything nice. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Yeah, that. And then the experiment went wrong, and thus began the Powerpuff Girls. Fool. You've created a super being. You must take responsibility. There's an actual plate of fruit here. You have golden dishes. Yoink, 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 yoink. No one noticed. Cool. Away we go. Oh, I'm lucky that I need another <laughs> go and sell them for like a million silver each. Uh, sir, we could not accept these for a million silver. We would not pay you a penny less than a billion per gold plate. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. 
Just okay. wait till you get to the quest where you have to talk to the Gahaz bandits, and you're gonna have to pay nearly 200,000 just to be able to talk to the dude. I imagine there's a node over here somewhere. Ooh, seven cream. Yeah, that could be it. I can... Take the cream, and I no. believe it is cream and salt that makes butter. Go. Then I could just dry milk, get cheese, uh, yeah, two butter. Just enough butter, just enough cream. Now I just dry milk. Me personally, I wouldn't leave milk out to dry, but this game has its purpose for drying milk. <laughs> it was worth there it. We go. Cheese. I button spanned a little bit right there. Oh, I actually have to make it by processing before I actually give it to them? Man, I did a side quest where I already had the material. It's, uh... Oh, it is the desert. What? Uh, I was saying it's fairly dusty here, or cloudy. Oh, I thought it was a question. But then I was like, well, it it is the desert. Alright, now, now that I've done nothing that the stream was named after, I, I've said Valk, uh, Valk Prague, Valencia. I mean, technically, I'm not wrong. I made a uh, item discovery pro or uh, location discovery progression. <laughs> Fair enough. There. There's a note everywhere. No, 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 That's not what I'm talking about. Where I was saying, there must have been another node. There was, in fact. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Aren't I? Oh, I need one more no. butter. Are you kidding me? Go do it. Got the cream. Better go buy it. And salt. Get that butter now. Gotta get I know, it. I'm making butter and cream. I'm making cheese. Cheesy poofs? Cartman? Indeed. Now, kitty. My cheesy poofs. <laughs> I'll have you know that cheese sells less on the market than milk. Well, of course. Milk is an ingredient to make cheese. Everyone wants the ingredient so they can make it themselves and get the XP. Right. What I'm saying is that, unlike logs, milk is around the same price as logs currently. And most people only think you can get it simply just by doing uh, the quests. And nobody wants to do the quests. Me, I do the quests. But now that I do the quests, I know a place where I could just do milking mini games for seemingly eternal uh, amounts of time. I can just gain around 10,000 every time I milk. If I keep at that for about an hour, I'll be making pretty mean profit. 
Especially since you can milk a cow w with a little bit of experience rather fast. I'd say it's about 20 seconds per glass, maybe even 15 if you're fast enough and good. Um, so about 30,000 a minute. Uh... Wait, there's a road here. There's so many roads you just don't see in the world sometimes, even though you see them on the maps. And you get to them and you're like, where the hell's the road? Nah, nah. They're pretty clear. So we. And now I'm drying oh. milk. I'm drying milk of all things. Where is this road taking? It's curving back towards the town. I don't want that. There we go. Uh, now I can turn in three quests at once. This power is unstoppable. Guess we're going this way. Oh, while well, well, I'm on my way out, let me do the sample fruit quest. Well, not other. That That's the real problem with many of the roads, is they don't actually go where you want them to. Hello, fruit basket. Wong. Besides, everyone knows that the shortest path to your destination is a straight line. Cut it directly is. through the countryside. And striker punch your way through a mountain if you must. Instead of going yes. over it. You, instead of going over it. You need to be like Dio under, from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. You will simply go through. There's cloth on these trees. Signs of life. Okay. Mm. That looks interesting. It's probably just a tree. Yep, it was just a tree. Let's get some height. Cocoa bird. Milk sword. I didn't even get anything for that. While I'm here, I'll turn in my uh coins. Uh, what Good money? Uh, doing these quests gave me a bunch of ancient coins, which I can just sell at the trade market for a bit of money. Well, I mean, I discovered a new area, Northern Sand Dune. Just don't know where the node manager's at. Honestly, if the quest lines over here are this lengthy and fairly easy, I wonder how it would actually be like in places like Kamasilvia. This has been an extremely chill stream. Need more death and chaos. Oh! Oh! There's, uh... I, 
There's the Nova Manager. They're dead. I'm more comfortable lying down. Oh, no, he's just laying down face first on the stone for some reason. Quite warm, I see. so it makes me thirsty. Okay, we'll give you some water. I prayed for your eternally damned soul. <laughs> Well, mm. now I've got to look for barley while I'm killing boars and taking their blood. While I'm at it, I'll see how much boar blood even goes on the market. Indeed. farm. This is a farm for tomatoes. Uh, well, not barley, but something. <laughs> Potato farm. The northern wheat plantation, not the northern tomato. There's a lot of farmland here, I gotta say. Uh, that goat, uh... Ooh, farm ...is for hunting. And across the tulip pond... ...more tomatoes. As is that. And across that, we've got more potatoes. Where be the barley? <laughs> I don't even, uh, that's cabbage. Is this stuff harvestable by chance? <clears throat> So far, it just seems like very tall grass. Nope, it's barley. Takes a while to find one of these nodes, though. Okay, more barley. I find it odd that there's no... icon for Achman or Histria on the map. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, and there is actually something right here. But, uh, no, there, there is the Achman, uh, node, right? Oh. Right there. And Histria Ruins. Which... Strangely enough, even though I found the dude, uh, and he was right, uh, crap, was it here? Yeah, right there. It didn't show up on the map. wonder if I would need to go to Pilaku and discover it. But if that's the case, I'm heading the wrong way. I need to go this way. Is 
So that's going to be Era, Era has a town there. That should be Pilaku up there. Okay, maybe a little bit. Let's see. So if I'm about here ish somewhere, I'm looking that way. Look at the mountain range. Turn. I'll be right back. That way. Okay. Valencia City. I'm going to say it's over there. Let's go ahead and we'll crest this hill here and end the stream. And then the beginning of the next one can be us attempting to find Pilaku. Yeah, that sounds good. Sorry we didn't get a whole lot of progression today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll be right back. See you in the next one.